This program is brought to you by thepodcastfactory.com. Canine crew, it's time to just sell the damn thing. Doberman Dan is revealing his contrarian formula for getting a rush of new customers, building your business faster, and making the highest possible profits. Go to JustSellTheDamnThing.com to get your copy today. Prepare yourself for the uncensored. Nothing held back. No BS reality of how business and life really work. Doberman Dan is off the chain. Welcome to another edition of Off the Chain with Doberman Dan. I'm excited because I'm with a special guest today, Russ Rafino. And Russ, I really appreciate you doing this today. Thank you. My pleasure, Dan. So I'm always curious to, to get the backstory on where you came from. Most of us didn't wind up like wanting to do what we're doing now <laughs> since we were kids. So what is your backstory and where'd you come from? And then and tell us what you're doing now. And I want to talk with you a lot more about that. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't even know where to start. Basically, I started out in online marketing, internet marketing, and I was doing that just to make some extra money and ended up being really, really good at it and was able to make money you know, doing things like affiliate marketing and, and, and creating products and stuff. And then eventually people came to me to learn how to do it. And I started teaching them how to do it. And then... Back then, I was busy doing a lot of launches and a lot of low ticket stuff and all kinds of things like that. And it ended up being very unfulfilling. I mean, financially, the results were good, but I was having a lot of the same problems that I think a lot of thought leaders have, which is, you know, you're, you're selling ebooks maybe, or you're selling video courses or you're doing launches. And, you know, we would do these launches and we would sell thousands of copies of something at maybe like $27 or $37 or $47, something like that. And then the feedback was always fantastic. It was always like, Oh, Russ, you know, that product you came out with, it was incredible. It was fantastic. Thank you so much. And I'd be like, well, cool. You know, what did you do with it? And they'd be like, Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to, you know, I'll get around to implementing it, <laughs> you know, some, at some point down the road. And so, Long story short, I just kind of started to feel very unfulfilled because people were buying my stuff, people were enjoying my stuff, but it felt like I wasn't making an impact. And I thought to myself, well, look, what, what would happen if I kind of took this entire model and sort of flipped it on its head? And instead of working, trying to you know, work with hundreds of people or thousands of people and sell them something you know, pretty inexpensive, which is sort of what everyone's telling you to do nowadays, I said, what would happen if I flipped this around and raised my prices dramatically to somewhere around 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, but only worked with a handful of people every month and really gave them a VIP experience and really did everything in my, in my power to hold their hand through the process and make them take action and make them really get the result. And so, you know, that was a huge gamble. I shut down all my low ticket stuff. This was about five years ago, changed the whole focus of my business. And almost overnight, the entire business just transformed where I went from doing maybe 20K a month. And I think the first month I, I really started doing this in earnest, it went from 20K a month to like 200K a month. And, um, you know, it's only gone up since then as we've systematized things and sort of sort of dialed things in. So if you're out there and you're a coach or a consultant or a thought leader or an information marketer or a service professional, there really is a way where you can use marketing strategies to attract the clients that you want at the prices that you that you really should be commanding if you've got something that's transformational. You know, five years ago, that was really forward thinking and cutting edge. I mean, even today it is because we were all taught that, nope, nope, you got to start low, got to sell, you, you got to give something away free and then try to sell <laughs> something cheap and then move them up this pyramid. And you just chucked all that and like, screw it. I'm just going to sell something expensive from the start. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, I didn't know that was possible in the beginning. I, I thought, well, I didn't, you know, and there's still people who are telling you that it can't be done, that you have to nurture and, and send people emails for six months or build a blog maybe and get, you know, get people to read your blog and get them to, to keep coming back and coming back. But, you know, don't try to sell them anything because you're just going to offend them. You have to really build that relationship first. And all that's just nonsense. And as part of this big experiment with raising the price and working with fewer clients, another part of the experiment was like, well, what if we just offered people the thing that really is going to solve their problem. 
So instead of wasting their time with like a, you know, maybe an ebook or, you know, 10 different videos or whatever stuff people were giving out to sort of nurture, I said, look, what if I just had maybe one 45 minute webinar just so people know who I am and so I can tell them who I am and what I do and maybe shift their understanding around the problem a little bit. But then right after that, just offer them the one thing that can actually solve their problem. And it worked. It worked great. So if anyone is telling you that it takes weeks and months of nurturing before you can offer somebody high ticket, you know, in our business, we take people from clicking on a Facebook ad to actually becoming a client at a premium price within 24 to 48 hours. And our whole business is based on that. And we're probably on track to do somewhere around 20 million in revenue this year with that model. Holy smokes. Now that is the whole model. Can you give me like the one, two, three step model, the whole thing again, or did you just do that? (laughs) Sure. Yeah. No, no, well, yeah, I kind of did, but yeah, no, we'll we'll break it down so you guys understand. So basically the first most essential ingredient is that you want to have something that's transformational. And so what that means is that your offer, whatever it is, and it could be, it could be many, it could be delivered many ways, right? It could be a small event you're running. It could be one-on-one coaching. It could be an online workshop, which is what most of our clients offer. It could be an amazing service. You know, maybe you're doing web design or graphic design and it's a fantastic service. But whatever it is, however you choose to deliver it, it must solve a major life or business challenge. So a health challenge, maybe you're a health coach or you're a you know, relationship coach and you're helping people find the love of their life or helping people put their marriage back together. Or maybe you're a business coach. You show businesses how to get leads or how to become more profitable. All of these are major, major problems that people will pay a lot of money to have fixed, you know? So if you've got the expertise to deliver something like that, then, you know, then you're really cooking. So once you've got that and you've built everything around this transformational offer where you're really helping people get the results. And you're not just helping people, teaching them different things. You're actually walking them through the process of taking action and doing the work. Then the process for selling it becomes really straightforward. You run an ad on Facebook, you drive that traffic into a webinar. And those webinars, like I said, are usually 45 minutes. And uh, you know they're even automated most of the time. And then on the webinar, you just invite them to book a call with you to talk about maybe working together. And that's it. And then on the call, if they're a fit, and you feel good about them and you feel like you can really help them, then you can go ahead and offer them whatever that transformational program is. And you can do that at anywhere from 3,000 to 5,000 to 10,000 and even higher. And, you know, of course, you have to do a good job. Of course, you have to operate with total integrity. Of course, you have to really, really, really care about your clients and you have to not be afraid to talk to people. But that is the simplest process that we've ever come across where it's just Facebook ad webinar phone call. And and then literally our entire business model is built on that very, very, very simple process. I love the simplicity. And I I think the pushback I I might hear from people is, well, geez, I, you know, I wanted to be an online marketer and I wanted to sell stuff with a, with with a website or VSL because I don't want to talk with people. I have not found it an easy sale. In fact, a darn near impossible sale to sell those kind of price points without a little bit of personal interaction. Has that been your experience too? It's not that it's not possible. So if you have a webinar that's like a really smoking hot webinar, you know, you might convert maybe like 1% or 2% of your attendees into a, let's say a $2,000 offer. And based on my conversations with competitors who are running offers that are similar to that, that's about like what they're pulling at the very, very, very best. Okay. But at COD in my company, you know, you might run an automated webinar and you might get 25 to 30% of people booking a call with you. And then once you get really, really, really good at, at converting those calls, you know, right now our team enrolls about 40% of the people that we speak to. Holy smokes. So you can do the math on that where it's, it's obviously the conversions are way, 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 way better at getting people on the phone. And so if someone feels that way, believe me, I know how they feel because I kind of came from my first exposure to online marketing before I ever even got into it was reading four hour work week. And I was like, Oh, passive income, you know, cool. <laughs> like, you know, I want to have income that's totally passive. And you know, that sounds awesome and everything. But but like I said, you know, I was doing maybe 15, 20K a month with funnels that required no personal touch, no conversation. And when I started integrating the conversation, it literally 10X my income almost overnight. I mean, it went from 20K a month to 200K a month and it was just blew my mind. But the other thing about that is that you want to be talking to people before you enroll them into your stuff. All the time, all the time. Because if you've got an offer, like, look, if it's a video course or something and people are just going to sit down and watch your videos, it's like, okay, fine, maybe you don't really care that much. But in my opinion, we have a responsibility 
And that responsibility is we should not be enrolling clients into our stuff unless we're 100% confident we can actually help them. And I can't make that judgment without talking to you first and finding out what the heck is going on in your business or with your health or in your relationship or what's going on in your life. And so those phone calls are fantastic because I get to have a real conversation with you and get to decide if you're a fit for us to work together. And so it's an incredibly, incredibly empowering thing for the business owner to not just have to deal with anybody who clicks the add to cart button, but you now actually get to have conversations with people where you get to choose, hey, is this somebody I want to work with? Or is this somebody who's going to be difficult or a victim or just a pain in the ass? Or is this someone who, who I just straight up can't help? Maybe their problem isn't something that you solve. And so you got to be upfront. You got to tell them that. So integrating that phone call into your process doesn't just help you sell more but it also gives you tremendous control over who you're going to work with and who you're not. And to me, that's worth its weight in gold. I mean, that's absolutely essential because when you don't have any clients coming in the door and you've, you know, maybe you've, maybe you've only had one or two clients, so let's just say you're just starting out. Maybe, you know, your perspective might be, oh, Russ, I just want somebody to work with me. I don't care who it is. But believe me, once your business starts going, client selection becomes very critical to the long-term health of your business and to your sanity. That's an important point. Hey, are you able to share any secrets of how you and the folks on your team are able to get such a high conversion on those high price point programs? Yeah, it's kind of an amazing thing. The more we show up to serve whoever we have on the phone and the less we focus on making the sale, the more money we make. And so it's really important that you guys understand that distinction because so many of the programs out there are built on... You know, even if they're even if they're running a good program, the roots of it, the genesis of it, is that old school boiler room. You know, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, like hardcore closer, close them. You know, close the deal, close the sale. Yeah, they have your money in your pocket. Now you got to go get it. Yeah, yeah, all that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get in there and close. And they give you these like. You know, the way they run a call is they give you kind of like a conversation tree where it's like, I'm going to ask you a yes or no question, right? But I know if you say yes, I'm going to say this. And if you say no, I'm going to say this. And the whole thing is designed to box you in. And so the way they teach that stuff is, I mean, really what the way I talk about it is it comes down to just, hey, box them in, wear them down and take their money. And so they're trying to box you in. They're trying to take away your, your power of decision. They're trying to force you to make a purchase, whether it's in your best interest or not. They're going to follow up with you 15,000 times and wear you down. And then they're going to take your money, whether or not you really need this program. And, and I'm against all of those things. So what we decided to do, again, is take that whole model and just do the exact opposite. Where what we do is we show up to serve every single person on a call. And what, what I mean by serve is this. We're going to talk and we're going to figure out exactly what's going on in your business or exactly what's going on in your relationship or exactly what's going on with your health. And we're just going to peel back the layers of the situation and get to the truth of what's really going on. And then if it's something that we can help you with and something that we want to help you with, we'll talk about how that works. But if it isn't, we'll tell you that too. And so one of the really interesting things, Dan, is that we don't even make an offer to about 30% of the people that we speak to because they're just not a fit. And I mean, we don't tell them the price. We don't tell them how to enroll. We don't try to take their credit card. We just straight up do not offer them the program 30% of the time, either because they're just not ready or they, they, they don't have expertise or you know whatever. We just don't think they're ready. And from a business perspective, you might think, holy cow, Russ, those are good, hot leads. Those are leads that you paid for. They you know, they watched your webinar. They showed up. They're on the phone with you. And you're not going to make an offer to 30% of the people, even if they've got their credit card in hand and they're ready to sign up. Yeah, that's the way we run the business. And so it's kind of an ironic thing, man. But the less we focus on sell, 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 close, 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 take their money. And the more we focus on, hey, man, we want you to get tremendous value out of this call whether or not we're a fit to work together. And we're just going to try to put our heads together and see if we can figure out what the heck is going on in your situation. And if we can help, we'll tell you about that. The more we invest in that and really serving each and every person who shows up, the more money we make. That's so cool. So does that conversation mostly involve just asking questions and listening? There's a lot of asking questions. Yeah. But it's we, it's because we have to find out what's going on. If you're going to come to me and say, hey, Russ, you know, I, want, I want you to help me achieve X and Y and Z in my business. There's a lot of stuff that I have to know. I got to know what are you trying to achieve? What problems are you struggling with? Who do you want to work with? What price do you want to charge? What's been working? What's, what hasn't been working? You know, so the cool thing about the call, though, is that even if we don't make an offer to the person, or even if we do make an offer and the person says no, they're walking away from that call having 
like incredible amounts of clarity. And that's what we wanted too. I was like, look, man, I can't be running a business where every single time we talk to someone, it leaves them with a bad taste in their mouth. Because that's just not a recipe for success, especially today in 2018, where people can go online and they can talk about you and, and whatever. I was like, I just want to have a process where whether someone becomes a client or doesn't become a client, they walk away from that call with more clarity about their business than they've ever had in their life. And so that's the objective that we always have. And the more we just bring that, you know, coming to it from a service perspective instead of a sales perspective, ironically, the more we sell. That's interesting. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's not all about make money. Your life changing service doesn't just have to be about building your business faster, or making money. You have people doing using your your process for health. For what are some of the other th- the the high value services? Oh, our most our most successful clients. So that's another myth that's out there too. That says, well, if you're if you're not providing a financial return on investment, people won't spend a high price. Like in other words, if you're helping someone with their their marriage or their health, people won't spend a high price. And that's just nonsense. It's one of those things that you think is true because it sounds good, but when you put it to the test, it just isn't. Our most successful clients right now, Dan, are not in any kind of marketing related fields. So our client Marnie, who's I think doing almost 200k a month right now. She's a dating and relationship coach. Our client Violet's doing about 70k a month. She's her dating and relationship coach. Our client Kanisha is doing somewhere in the neighborhood of 85 to 100k a month probably. She's got this incredible offer where she helps she helps people get into Ivy League schools. Oh, neat. So, and then our our client Brian, well, let's see, it's June right now as as a, you know, having this conversation. Our client Brian is a fitness and handstand coach and he's already crossed the million dollar mark for the year. So, you know, it's like it, it doesn't matter as long as you are offering something that really is going to create a cool transformation in people's lives and help them fix some problems they've been struggling with for a while, you can command those kinds of premium price points if you know how to sell it and market it properly. And that's the X factor. So if you know if people are listening and they're just like, oh, well, screw it, I'm going to raise my prices. That's fine. But you know, beware that there's so much detail that goes into all the positioning and advertising and targeting and you know, the way you craft the webinar, the way you craft your phone, you know, your phone conversations, your mindset, all these things have to sort of click into place and then you can have really great success. And even on top of that, you know, all these successful clients I'm talking about, they've all pushed through multiple setbacks and you know, maybe they rolled out a webinar and it didn't work well, or they rolled out a landing page and people didn't respond to it, or whatever. It's, it's just business. You have to be able to persist through setbacks and failures. And in, especially if you have a great team like ours holding your hand, you can get to where you want to go a lot fast. When you work with a client, so somebody comes to you and they say, I get this life transforming service, but I suck at marketing it and I want to use your system. How much of what you do with them is their self growth and getting through their head trash and that stuff they need to deal with? To grow their business. Do you have do you have to address that with all your clients or do you find that rare? Oh yeah. <laughs> no. And this was a great shock to me, man. Because to be honest, when I first started this company four or five years ago, I thought that, you know, if we gave people the greatest strategy on the planet, they would just follow it and they would execute and they would get it done. But what we found was that what really was holding people back and standing in their way was their own fear and overwhelm and insecurity and self-doubt. And so I actually went to one of the best coaching companies in the world and ended up recruiting a bunch of people from that company. And now I have some of the best mindset coaches on the planet on my team who are just there to help nurture the client's mindset. So the the way we run the program at Clients on Demand is extremely hands on. I have you know my team is helping with their Facebook ads, their targeting, their their webinars, their their ad copy and landing page copy. The emails are sending out. We have eyes on all of it. We're helping them rewrite it. We're helping them critique it. But at the same time, we also have these mindset coaches there where you can put up your hand and say, you know what, I'm freaking out. I've never done a webinar before. How do I do this? And we will be there to coach you through it and shepherd you through it. And so people join Clients on Demand to learn how to market their stuff better and they learn and to learn client attraction. And you know, that's the strategic part. And we have all that dialed in. But what really creates an incredible, like next level transformation for people is the growth that they experience as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, and just learning how to be courageous and full of faith instead of fear. Have you ever had a client that was just, you know, a bona fide kick ass world class expert in something, you know, with this ungodly successful track record, 
who started working with you and experienced all the fear and even the imposter syndrome kind of thing, is that common? It happens with every client. Isn't that wild? (laughs) To one one degree or another. Sure, yeah. Because look, whatever results that you've been experiencing up until this point in your business, that is your comfort zone. You know, maybe you're maybe you're making 5k a month or 10k a month or whatever it is. You're getting one client a month, two clients a month, whatever it is. That's your comfort zone. And for you, you're comfortable with that level of stress. It's nice and cozy. But all of the incredible results that you've been chasing, they're outside of that comfort zone. So even if, you know, you can hand somebody, you know, it's it's just as scary, I can say this, to go from 10,000 a month to 100,000 a month. It's just as scary to go from 100,000 a month to a million a month because I've gone on both of those journeys. And it's like, it's it's that expansion of your comfort zone is terrifying. But if you have the strategies to deal with it, so that as your income expands and as your influence expands, your confidence expands too, then what happens is that growing a great business becomes this journey of self-discovery where you look back at the person that you used to be even eight weeks ago, even six months ago, even a year ago, and you look back and you say, I'm so much stronger now and I have the bank account balance to back it up and I have the clients to back it up. But yeah, man, any human being... I mean, it's so rare. I would say the exception isn't when someone you know, gets scared. The exception is when someone does it. And it's like every once in every... One in every maybe 50 clients or one in every 100 clients, we have someone that's just mentally rock solid and just, hey, cool. And they just show up and they do the strategy and they crush it. But, you know... Every single person, when you ask them to push outside their comfort zone, they they there's there's resistance and fear, but that's okay, as long as you don't let that paralyze you. And that's why I spend so much money on having this incredible coaching staff that can help you through that process. Can you give a couple tips? Like when your business grew exponentially so fast, from twenty grand a month to two hundred grand a month, and then all its growth beyond there, give us one tip you did that you found really helpful for, you know, the mindset issues or perhaps the, you know, like, oh my God, am I good enough to, to, to manage this? What was one of the top things you did that helped keep that in check, that fear in check? Now I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the cheat code to life right now. You ready? Awesome. Be grateful for your goals in advance. So I decide exactly what it is that I want. And I aim high. I think big. I, I set goals that are are just this side of impossible. The kind of goals where it's like, oh man, wouldn't it be great if I could this? But it's like, oh, I don't know if I could do that. And every single day, you imagine the fulfillment of that goal where you ask yourself, how would I feel if that were my reality today? And you allow yourself to feel all of the joy and all the gratitude and all the thankfulness and all the happiness and just get lost in the wonder and the power and the majesty of all of it. And you spend time doing that every day. If you do that every day, like say three times a day for like 10 minutes where you just got your list of goals in front of you and you're saying, thank you, thank you, thank you that this is real, that I've got these incredible clients, that I'm making this money, that I have that money in the bank and you're seeing and feeling it and getting excited about it, even though it hasn't shown up yet, you'll be shocked at how fast your life changes. Because the mistake people make is they say, well, I'll be happy when... I have 10K in the month or, or, you know, 10K in the bank or 100K in the bank or whatever it is, or I'll be happy when I have all these clients and I have all this success. But it doesn't work that way. You have to create the success in your mind first, then it begins to show up in your reality. And uh, if there's one thing that you guys could take away from listening to this, if you've gotten any value out of this at all, if you start doing this, everything in your life will change. That is so utterly brilliant. I wish I'm 53. I wish somebody would have told me that when I was 18. I wish they would have told me that every day until it sunk into my head. And my current reality would be so much different right now than having to learn that from 30 years of hard experience. Russ, that is brilliant. I appreciate you sharing that. I know you got a hard stop. Thanks, man. My pleasure. Yeah, that's that's the main thing. I don't want to keep you because I know you got a hard stop. You got a, a meeting you got to get at. But would you mind for for anybody who wants to find out more info about what you're doing to to check out check out what you do and maybe explore the possibility of working with you? What's the best way they can do that? 
Sure. Well, I'll give you guys a couple options. If you want to find out more about what we do, then you can look up the Clients on Demand podcast. We actually have a podcast too. So you can find that on iTunes. Just search for Clients on Demand. It's right there. And you can hear us rant and rave about all the stuff that we're (laughs) ranting and raving about. But if you're interested in potentially working with us to apply some of these strategies in your business, then I want you to go to clientsondemand.com forward slash session. That's clientsondemand.com forward slash session. And you can book a call to talk to my team there. And you know, like I said before, we'll just have a really honest conversation. You're going to get tremendous clarity on your business. If we think we can help, we'll tell you. If we think we can't help, believe me, we'll tell you that too. But either way, our objective isn't to enroll you into one program or another. Our objective is to make sure that you have tremendous value and tremendous clarity from that conversation so that you can make an intelligent decision about the best way to move your business forward. So clientsondemand.com forward slash session. Russ, I'm really grateful for our time today. You shared some life-changing stuff in a very short period of time. So thank you very much. Thank you, Dan. I really appreciate it, man. And I hope I hope you'll come back. Of course I will. Anytime. All right. Hope you enjoyed today's show. Canine Crew got a special treat for you. What we are affectionately referring to as the Off the Chain Hotline. Tell us you love us. Tell us you hate us. Ask questions. We don't care. Just call 321-424-6043 and give us a piece of your mind. This is the podcastfactory.com.